bringing you the EA Sports NCAA Football 14 pregame show presented by Nissan. Innovation that excites. These two Big 12 rivals know each other very well. Maybe the key to this game, who will be able to break tendency? I mean, when you've been scouted as much as these two teams have, you've got to come up with a wrinkle or two if you want to be effective. That does it for us here on the NCAA College Football pregame show. Enjoy the game. We'll see you at the half. See how this game plays out as they get ready for the opening kickoff. He's to the 20. Tackle at the 33 yard line. TCU's offense really centered around this quarterback, and as he goes, the team seems to go first. Brett, over the weeks I've been watching him on film, and one thing I've seen is his ability to make good decisions. I mean, time after time, he just avoids the mistakes. And when you can do that as a quarterback and as a leader of an offense, you're going to move the football down the field. Takes it up the middle for a nice run. The halfback option good for seven yards. They need about three yards to get the first here on second down. Let's go. <laughs> Thomas on play action. Johnson's intended receiver on the play. That makes it third and three. First down there on the four-yard pickup from the back. Good job to let the play develop and pick up a nice gain for a first down from their own 44-yard line. First down. Quick throw out to the receiver. And down he goes, right around the 46-yard line. Inside the 46. Throws it to the halfback on the screen. And they push him out at about the 43 yard line. If you're the defense coordinator, you got to be frustrated with the way your defense gave up that first down. The defense has got to do a better job of recognizing the screen and then chasing it down from behind, especially the defensive linemen. They've got to see whether it's the quarterback or the offensive lineman that tip the screen and then help the rest of the defense be able to slow that play down and not give up that first down. Throws it out, and it falls incomplete. He's unable to hit his receiver. He overthrew it. Yeah, and that's a throw he should make every single time. Second down, 10 to go. Ball on the 43. And he tackles him hard at the 48-yard line. The smart quarterbacks and offensive linemen have a really unique relationship. A quarterback should take care of his offensive linemen. But after that play and that hit, you really got to be wondering what kind of relationship this quarterback and his offensive linemen have after that. It's the ninth play of the drive. Here's a quick throw. That's incomplete. Bray 
was the intended target, so they couldn't pick up the long yardage, and now they'll have to punt. The offense really had nowhere to go on that one. The play was very well defended, and now the incompletion will force the fourth down in a punt. Whoa, he just took a lick it. So let's see what the offense can do as they come out onto the field. Steps up. He gets rid of this one. Good job here by the defense. If you let this quarterback set and throw, he'll kill you all game. But they got excellent pressure on that play. Second down, 10 yards to go. Ball on the 22. Make the stop at the 30. Thomas makes the tackle at the 30 yard line. Third down. Man left, man left. Go down, go down. Wide for the six. Wide for the six. Go four. Hey, kill, kill, kill. Tackle after a decent run up the gut. Call it again in five yards. That makes it first and ten. We've got a first and ten. Ball on their own 35. Watch 36, 36 to Mike. Quick strike and he drops it. He's on the run. Dives for extra yardage. He gained a good six yards on that scamper. Third down again. Seven-yard line. They've got to play with some focus and smarts here. They don't want to make a mistake and suddenly find themselves trailing. Fires quickly, and he's got his man. And he's taken down around the 46-yard line. That'll make it second in inches. It's second down, and they're about the length of the football from the first down marker. He's tackled at about the 49. Defensive coordinator anticipating this five-wide set, and he comes in with his dime package. So it's second down, and they're only about a foot away from picking up the first down. And now he's got room to run. They'll bring him down at the 29-yard line. So at the end of one, now this one's scoreless.
Welcome back here. We resume action now here in the second quarter. Let's go! Laterals back. Tackle at the 22-yard line. That's a good for a gain of two yards. That'll bring up third. They're about four yards away here on third down. By 52, by 52. Over the middle to his tailback. He's gobbled up in the backfield. Lost a few yards on the play. Fourth down. It's fourth down, and they're going to try to go for it. Hit hard for a loss. Defense stiffens on fourth down, and the ball will change hands. You always want to go in the locker room with momentum, so as we get closer to halftime, I think we'll see more and more attempts to create big plays. Second down, and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down. Complete brought down, nothing doing. Gets out to about the 38-yard line. That's a gain of three on the play. That makes it first and ten. First and ten. Ball on their own 38. Gains his way to the 46-yard line. That makes it second and two. situation here. It's third and one. Knocked out of bounds at about the 33-yard line. Brad, I think offensive coordinators spend more time focusing on two areas for an offense. Third down conversions and red zone offense. Right now, this offensive coordinator has to be really happy with the way this offense is executing in their third downs. That's the second time they've been able to get a first down in this drive on third down. Quick throw, incomplete, one his receiver. He'll learn he doesn't always need to use his cannon. Sometimes precision is more important than power. From the 33-yard line, second down. He's under some heat. Hauls it in as he's pushed out of bounds. I'll tell you something. I'm loving this quarterback's confidence more and more as this game goes on. He's really throwing the ball with some purpose. We're at play number nine of this current drive. Taken down at the 15. Jayhawks taking their first time out of the half. Second and eight coming up here. Ball on the 15-yard line. Fires it out. He gets. 
gets hit out of bounds at the 12 yard line. It could be that the offensive coordinator is trying to lure the secondary in to play more press coverage. And then they'll try to take advantage by going deep. Those safeties better be ready. It's the 11th play of the drive. They run for it in a major collision. It's fourth down. So the field goal unit is on the field. They'll try for three points. Kansas could take the lead with this field goal. it up and it splits the uprights. Let's get the latest now from Reese Davis. Get you up to date on the action in Denton. The Red Raiders unleash their aerial assault and score a touchdown. Gordon splashed his sticky fingers as he's hauled in a touchdown. The Red Raiders are out front. 7-0. Reese, 3-0 here. The, the kicker Kansas looks like he's ready to kick this one off. Number 13, Gathered in at the six. He gets out to about the 28-yard line. Momentum swings have been fairly even. And with so little separation, this game can be drastically changed on just one or two plays. Zips it to the back. And he's tackled at the 35. Good work here by the defense to keep him from making something more out of that play. It's second down, and they're about two yards away from the sticks. He's got it out to his tight end. Brought down the 39-yard line. It's complete for about four yards and a first down. Nothing special here. Quick pass and a good catch, but it keeps the chains moving. it fly it's intercepted he came up with a fantastic interception there well you know the quarterback is kicking himself for that one he just made the wrong read from the 38 yard line First down, Kansas is up by three. Goes incomplete, intended for his wide out. That makes it second and ten. Quick out to his receiver. Tackle made at about the 31. Skinner picks up seven yards with that catch. They need about three yards to get the first down here on third down. Nice run up the middle. down grab and he scores touchdown <laughs> nicely designed play to the wide receiver and it got him six you said it brad in a good time to call it i tip my hat to the offensive coordinator where was the coverage there there wasn't anybody near him at all And he adds the extra point. A four-play, 38-yard drive. And they come away with a touchdown. The score now, 10-0. Cohen is lined up to kick this one off. Tries to get around the corner. 
And he shoved out of bounds around the 33-yard line. The Horned Frogs have really got some work to do, I think, Kirk, in the second half. Because from what we've seen from their quarterback so far, if he's their star, it's not shining right now. And they got to find somebody else to light up the sky a little bit. Well, I think collectively as a head coach, an offensive coordinator, quarterback coach, they're all going to have to get together and take some time to visit with this quarterback at halftime and try to find out if they can somehow get him going. And the other thing to think about is maybe this is the running backs. Maybe it's, this is their week to take some of the pressure off of. Maybe the receivers, the offensive line. When your star isn't playing up to his abilities, he has a tendency to press. Somebody else has to step up their game and take some of the pressure off of him. Out of bounds, around the 41-yard line. We've reached halftime, and there's an upset on the horizon. 10-0, Kansas. Thanks, guys. Second half action just about ready to start here. Tackle at the 17-yard line. So they're just about set to get the game going again. Second and six. Ball on their own 21. And down he goes around the 18-yard line. some heat wants to throw outside complete and they make the stop around the 47 yard line now it's first and ten with a defense trying to regroup after giving up the big pass throw to the tight end, and he's tackled in the open field. That makes it second and eight. I was really watching him work with the quarterback coach, and they've been focusing on that aspect of it. Here, it looks like he may have taken a step backwards and really just let that one go. And he's tackled after positive yardage. Rodgers comes away with around five yards on the delayed handoff. This punt, if he gets it where he wants, it can really change the field position in this football game. This one will go into the end zone, and they'll bring it out to the 20. Can this defense play any better? I mean, these guys have a great tradition. They live up to the billing today. Now we're starting to see whether or not this team can get it done. And if they are, then I think the defense should go down to the offensive side of the field, talk to their own offense, and try to get them fired up Ready? to go out there and get some more points on them. He's out to the 30. Makes it out to about the 36. First down, 10 to go. Ball on their own 36. So they get about four yards from play action. Uh, 
Makes it out to maybe the 40-yard line. So he decides to hold on to it, and it goes nowhere. We've got a third and six here. Ball on the 40. And he's taken down at about the 47-yard line. Second down and six. Ball on the 49. Look for his tight end over the middle. He's tackled at the 41. He should have made the pitch, but he kept it instead and wound up going backwards. This is the eighth play of this drive. Got some open field. Makes it to the 34. down and they're going to need about three yards to pick up the first down they'll wrestle him down in the backfield i like how the defense got all up into that option to disrupt it the offense looks a bit unsettled after losing that battle a gamble going for it with so many yards to come up with but when you're behind sometimes you have to take risks to get back into a ball game the quarterback leads the offense back out onto the field as we get set to resume play Bring him down at the 48-yard line. One more quarter to play, and now they're just trying to hang on. The Jayhawks with a 10-point lead. All right, we're just about set to start action here again in the fourth quarter. Taken down immediately. Game seven on the play. That'll make it 35. From the 45 yard line, it's third down. Gets the ball here and brought down in the backfield. Pin him deep in their own territory with a good punt here. Got the corner, and he's tackled at the 23. Jayhawks have a defense that's a sight to behold, Kirk. Well, they just play with a chip on their shoulder. They are all over the field. The defensive line knows their job. The linebackers, the safeties, the corners, everybody plays as one, and they've been fun to watch today. The quarterback leads the offense back out onto the field as we get set to resume play. Takes it right, and he can't get back to the line. Loss of one yard on the play. 
That'll bring up second and 12. Second down and 12. Ball on their own 22. Halfback's got it on a quick throw. Tackle right around the 18-yard line. The 18-yard line. That makes it third and 15. Third and 15 coming up. Ball on their own 18. teams are well aware that a score on this drive is going to create an almost insurmountable lead. This defense has really got to step it up and make a stop. Brought down after a nice run up the middle. That'll make it second and four. They're about four yards away here on second down. A little more than two minutes to go in the fourth quarter. The defense can't be surprised that they're running the football, but for whatever reason, they're not stepping up when they need to to be able to come up with a stop. Credit to the defense here, recognizing pass and swarming to the receiver. Second and eight coming up here. Ball on the 18. He gets to about the five. I like how efficient the offense looked on that play. Everybody knew their assignment, and it all came together for a nice run. Two times, two times. two-yard line. The back gets three on the carry. Not much gained on that play because this safety did a wonderful job of getting up there and making a good tackle on the ball carrier. It's second and goal. Ball on the two-yard line. They're crowding the line. Touchdown, Kansas! Well, that touchdown should just about ice this one. Splits the uprights with the extra point. Cohen ready to kick. Brought down at the 32 yard line. This one might be coming back, folks. Let's check out the penalty. Receiving team. one will put the offense in a hole and they'll try to get some of that back on this upcoming play and the defense made a big stop on fourth down the last time this offense was out there this offense comes down the field again after being stopped on downs the last time out not only does that affect them in a negative way but you know what it does is it gives this defense that they're facing a ton of confidence and a lot of momentum as they come back out on the field Just over a minute in the fourth quarter. Throws it in a hurry. Good open field tackle. 
And he stops the clock with a spike. Third down, and they need to get it down to the 32. He makes it to the 38-yard line. given the circumstances. They just couldn't pull it off. The offense will be hoping they can move the ball as well as they did on their last drive. We should just see the quarterback take a knee right here, winding down the rest of this clock. Takes a knee. From their own 35-yard line. Second down. He takes a knee, looking to take some time off that clock. Frogs, I'm sure, are secure in the knowledge that despite this setback today, they still have one of the best players in the country. Well, this is a devastating loss, but it's one that they're going to have to put behind them. And as you said, they still have one of the best players in the country. They don't need to deviate their plan. Get back to really what they know, and that's getting the ball to their star player. Next week, I'm sure they'll be fine. That brings this broadcast to a close. For EA Sports and Kirk Herb Street, I'm Brad Nessler. We'll see you soon for another edition of NCAA Football 14.